Hey, what's up dudes? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Today, I am at a lake today that uh, about a week ago, Nick and myself, we came to this lake and we put we put on an absolute slam fest. I mean, we caught, we caught a really good limit of crappies. And uh, two days after that, uh, it was my nephew Javen's birthday. Happy birthday, Javen. And I was like, hey, it's it's Javen's birthday. We should take him fishing. I So I took him fishing. I tried making a video for you guys, but we came back to this lake I figured I'd come here just because it'd be a for sure thing but it wasn't a for sure thing we fished for about two hours and literally didn't get one bite I don't know what the heck it was all about I, I couldn't believe it I think it had to do something with the weather it was really warm when me and Nick came here and then two days later it was it was it's pretty much storming for two days and just really cloudy and rainy so I think that had something to do with it so I am back at this same lake today and uh, I have a guest star with us today Hey, what you doing? I brought my dog Avery with me today. In case you guys didn't know, I had a dog. This is this is my puppy Avery. I've had her since she was about a puppy, and she loves fishing. So I thought, hey, I I I I usually don't I usually don't let her in my nice boat because she sheds really bad. But I figured, screw it. This boat's getting trashed anyways this year, so I figured I'd bring her. I'm gonna start. I figured I'd 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 really like to start bringing her a lot more. So stay tuned. Hopefully, me and Avery can get on some crappies and hopefully it'll be a good show. Also, I did bring a leash for my dog. As you can see, it's to that little, uh, that little, I don't know what to call that. Because Avery, uh, when I start the motor out of nowhere, Avery really likes to jump out of the boat. It hasn't happened yet today, but I, I could, I, I wouldn't put it past her. She, uh, she really likes to go swimming. Ah, that's good. Let's get the trawl motor down. Let's freaking look for some crappies. Oh, I better turn my graph on. And you better stay in the boat, all right? You little stinker. You shedding stinker. If you jump off, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be a mad dad. Give me my rod, buddy. I'm gonna set this right here. And we're gonna send it. So I know a lot of people down in the comments have been asking, like, how do I find these? How do I find these crappies, these springtime crappies? And my best advice is to just search, search shallow bays, like not too shallow, like 10 feet max, 13 foot max, and just pretty much, just pretty much cast, cast around until you find one, and you can usually anchor down and catch a couple. But in this case, uh, I have a bass boat, so I, I don't really like carrying around an anchor. Just kind of per personal preference. I'd rather just once I find them, just kind of try to keep myself in the same spot and just kind of chase them around. Okay, spot number one, zero success. Time to move on. I'm gonna get on the big motor and go to a different spot. Watch out, Avery. Are you cold? Is that a cold ride? Because I am freezing. All right, dude. Welcome back. Round two. Let's see if we can't find some freaking fish. Cause I need, I need, I need a good whacking. I need a good crappie whacking. I'm feeling good today. It's a good day to be alive. One thing that could make it better is some crappies to eat. So this is more of a later season spot, but I'm like really mind blown that the crappies ain't in that last spot because that's usually where they are every year this time of year. So I figured what the heck, I'd come down here, give it a try, see if I can't uh, catch any over here. Seeing lots of lily pads, that's good. Usually find them where the lily pads start to grow. One thing I've found is if you if you know a lake and you know a spot has lily pads on it, but in the springtime the lily pads aren't grown yet, I found that that can be a really good spot to find crappies also. Oh, look at that bird. Hi, bird. Wow, that's a nice turtle. Oh my god, I got one. I got one. It's a freaking crappie. It's a crappie. It's a crappie. Avery, I got one. Avery, I got one. Yeah, buddy. That is seriously a freaking perfect eater too. That's like a 9, 10 incher. I am boxing him right up. Put him right in the live well. And hopefully I can catch some more. God, that's a perfect eater too. If I could get a couple that size. I got one. No way. No way I had another one. If 
I can get a couple that size, I'm only gonna keep like five of them. And uh, I'm gonna go home and eat those suckers. Uh, I'm getting a little close. Getting a little too close for comfort. Come on, I need some more. There can't just be one crappie, there's gotta be more. I decided to kind of come over to where I caught that crappie and it's like, what the heck? Why was he even here? It's just a bunch of freaking mud and like far in between weeds. Eh, okay, okay, I see crappies everywhere. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. There's crappies everywhere. I'm gonna freaking put a smack down right now. Oh, and look at that, there's a muskie. I see a muskie. Dude, like, are these crappies spawning? Man, these things are freaking everywhere. Like, everywhere. There's hundreds of them. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're freaking everywhere, and they are perfect eaters. There's a freaking giant right there. I do not want nothing to do with my bobber. Okay, dudes, so these crappies are, like, being really skittish. So I am. Uh, I decided I'm going to take off my bobber and uh, see if I can't try to sight fish some of these things because they are freaking everywhere. Got one. Oh, no. Okay. They're, okay. This is going to be good. Oh, my God. They're freaking everywhere. They're everywhere. Got one. Got one. <laughs> yes. Yes. Another good eater too. Look at that, Avery. That was sick. I watched him just, I watched, I didn't really watch him, but I just watched my jig just disappear. Look at this, dudes. That is a, that is a perfect freaking eater crappie. I'm gonna, I kind of switched up the camera because I don't really want to give away my spot. So uh, I'm gonna box him up. I'm gonna see if I can't catch a bunch more. This is, this is gonna be really fun now that I don't have a bobber on and just reeling them. I personally would way rather do this than using a bobber, but usually using a bobber is way easier, but not today. Let's uh, try to catch some more. Oh my God. Well, you guys got eyes. Obviously that did not go good. There was probably freaking like a thousand crappies and bluegills just sitting in that little corner and they just, they would not freaking bite me. They'd go through like little spurs where they just want nothing to do with it. And then like for 30 seconds, they'd want everything to do with it. And I'd just miss a couple and it, it, it just didn't work out. I bet you if a guy had some minnows, some little crappie minnows, I bet they'd just go complete complete crazy over it but I don't have any minnows wish I did but I don't so it is time to uh, go try another spot stay tuned hopefully we can catch a few more or or I will be uh, letting these couple crappies I got already go stay tuned hopefully we can get on some fish quick lunch break thanks kick ass love you guys one thing I absolutely love about having beef jerky in the boat all the time this is literally like the best freaking meal out on the boat good protein quick little snack and god is it good holy buckets all right dudes and dudettes we are at spot number three hopefully oh, they're freaking doing it here because this is tough the struggle's real out here right now and I, I believe we're gonna be fishing a little bit deeper here. I think we're gonna be fishing like nine feet. So I'm definitely gonna steal Brandon's rod and uh, hope for the best. I'm not having the, I'm not feeling the best about this spot just because I've never really done good here, but I have caught fish here. So I figured I'd try it. What the heck do I have to lose? And uh, hopefully they're biting. All right, dudes, my GoPro was off, but I just caught another beautiful little crappie. That makes number, I think that makes number three. Yeah, that makes number three. So hopefully we can get two more. I'm pretty confident. Uh, I've only been fishing this spot for like five minutes now. So I'm hoping that uh, we can get some more. Let's, let's, let's send it. Oh, I just got hit. Got him, got him. It feels big. Like this ain't no crappie. If it is a crappie, it's freaking huge. 
think it's a bath. God dang it. Yeah, it's a freaking bass. There we go. Well, not the targeted species, but there's a decent bass. Avery's just fired up about it. I like that. All right, I'm gonna look at that little chunker. We're gonna get him back. Bye, Felicia. Oh, look at these weeds I'm coming up on. Oh my God. These look good. There you go. Got him. This is a crappie. Oh yeah, it's a crappie. Nice. Crappie! Crappie! Finally! I'm gonna make this quick because it seems like every time I catch one and show the camera, I get blown off my spot and I can't find them again. But there's a nice crappie. I believe that is number four. That's number four. <laughs> my GoPro is off. It figures. Oh, there's number four. I suck it, I suck at vlogging. Wow, I suck at this. Like it's the one thing, like my job is not hard. I, I go out fishing every day and I have one job and that is to put play on this GoPro and I, I can't seem to get it down. Oh, got him, got him. Crappie, it's a crappie. It's a crappie, Avery. It's a crappie. It is not very big though. God dang it. Not gonna be keeping this little guy, but it's a crappie. Hey, my GoPro is on too. Cool. Got him. Crappie. Crappie. It's a good one too. Good crappie. Good crappie. Yeah. That makes five. That's a, probably one of the best ones yet. That's a freaking good one. Oh, Avery has to lick it. All right, dudes, I think that is all she wrote. Wow, that was uh, probably the hardest I've ever worked for seven, eight. How many crappies do I have? Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see in there or not. I think I got seven. Which seven, uh, I probably could have stuck it out and got my limit, but seven is plenty of fish, especially crappies that size. I mean, they're not too crazy. I think they're like 12 inches. Maybe my biggest is 12 and a half, so. It should be, a, should be a pretty good little supper. So stay tuned, we're gonna haul across the lake, we're gonna launch the boat, or we're gonna pull my boat out of the water, and uh, we're gonna go to my house and cook these suckers up. So stay tuned, these things are gonna be super freaking delicious, and I think Brandon's at my house, so I don't know, you guys might like that. Whoa, chill out, buds. All right, put this here. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, chill out. We got one crappie, two, and eight. Okay, I thought I only had seven. Turns out I had eight. But here's one more look at these things. They're not like, here, I have a tape measure right here. I think my biggest today was like 12 and a half. There we go, 12 inches right on the nuts. That might be just a tad too big to eat, but I don't know. I wouldn't go any bigger than that. But these are gonna these are gonna taste really good. Let's go. Let's go get inside. Start chopping these things up. Brendan, what's, what's up, dude? Man? How's work? Yeah, it's work. It's work. It's never fun. Oh. I didn't fall or die or cut a finger off, so I'm good. All right, dudes. As you can see, I got a little ahead of myself. I got all this stuff and. I got all this stuff set up and I uh, kind of forgot to hit that record button once again. You think I would uh, remember to do that, but first things first, I'm gonna need a plate and I am gonna need my garbage. All right, let's get her, let's just get her going. This is probably a really long video. First thing I do, I'm, if I can, I'm always gonna use an electric flay knife. I know a lot of people say that you waste, well, that one's kind of big. A lot of people say that you waste a lot of meat using flay knife. I uh, beg to differ. I don't feel like I waste any meat, but this is what I do. I start right, right at these fins here. Not sure what those are called. You think I would, but I don't. But I start here and I come straight down. Then I kind of bend my knife and come at an angle like that. And as you can see, I just kind of got one cut here. Now I'm gonna take my blade and just kind of, I'm gonna, once I hit the button, I'm just gonna angle it like this and just come all the way down this, hopefully. So, 
Go like this. Bam. This should be a perfect fillet. Boom, look at that. How is there any meat wasted there? That is perfect. All right, dude, so I definitely think I forgot one part of this. Uh, after, I usually flay all, I just usually get all the bodies taken care of. I usually get all the meat out first. And uh, now comes the skinning and deboning part of the process. As you can maybe see, there's a bunch of bones right here. What you wanna do with the same electric flay knife is I, I like to put my fingernails right at the bones and I put the blade here and then just take those bones right out. Ah, uh, we got a little bit left. Here we go. Take that whole bone line right out. And then I like to uh, cut a little slit right here. And that is just for my fingernails to, to hold this, to hold the skin and hold the filet. So then I take my blade. And there you go. There is a beautiful hunk of crappie. That is gonna taste just delicious. All right, we're gonna get all the rest, we're gonna get all the rest cleaned up and then we will start eating these things. All right, dudes, we got the fish all filleted and cleaned. We are going to be using uh, some shore lunch Cajun. This is my favorite way to cook fish, but I, I add a little twist to it. Let me uh, get more prepared and I'll show you. Here we go. Little bit of crushed red pepper. I love spicy food. Probably, probably my favorite foods are spicy foods. I don't know why, I just always like spicy foods. I'm gonna put uh, probably a, like too much. I like a lot. And I'm just gonna dish that around a little bit. I can actually use a little bit more. I like it spicy. Dish that around a little bit. Grab your fillets. Normally, if I wanted to get really crazy, I'd grab some egg or milk or some kind of a wash, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take them the straight up flays from getting cleaned and throw them right in there. You don't need milk or anything. A lot of people use that. It does make it a little bit like, probably makes it a little crunchier and a little less fishy, but I don't care. I'm so hungry right now. Start dishing it around like this. You having fun? Yeah. Look at Brandon back there. Okay. Let's again. Dish this around. Oh my god, I forgot to put grease. The grease ain't even ain't even on the stove. Oh, I guess I should uh, turn the stove on. That'd be helpful. Wow, I haven't made a catch and cook in a while, apparently. Wow, you can add water. Not to grease. Yeah, you can. It'll start a grease fire. Alright, the first batch is done. And it smells freaking delicious. Look at that. Just a delicious little, little mick, mick crappie nugget. Alright, first bite, Let's see how it is. It's really hot. But wow. But wow, folks. That is freaking good. Oh yeah. First take, I can taste that crushed red pepper. I love that. That's freaking good. Very glad I decided to do this. Can I have a chair? Holy ball. It was hot. All right, dudes. We got two more little fillets left. I'm gonna save these for my mom. She is on her way home right now, and she loves cold fish. I don't know why. I'm not a big fan of cold fish, but she loves cold fish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw these in the fridge and uh, I'll probably end this video. Avery, thank you so much for fishing with me today. I have a one last high five. Thanks. Thank you. You have to put you down now.
All right, dudes, I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun, kind of a lot of fun making it. It was a struggle on the lake today. But Avery had a good time. I had I had a good time with Avery. I'm definitely going to start bringing her a lot more in the future. I don't know why I haven't. Well, I know why cuz she sheds terrible and she's just a she's a big uh, she's a big whiny inside dog. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could go down here like this video, go share this video, go smash that subscribe button right down here and don't forget to hit that little that little bell. That's a little post notification bell that notifies you every time I ah! Yes. Yeah, mom. Where was I? Yeah. Okay, mom. Thanks for thanks for freaking ruining my life. Yeah. Subscribe to me. I'm gonna do this every day. So. Bye.